Hi everyone and welcome to Wildlife Facts. Today in this video we are going to show you how cool an arctic hare is. To begin with, arctic hare is also known as a polar rabbit. This is a species of hare which is adapted largely to polar and mountainous habitats. As the name suggests, duh. Arctic hares are hardly like the cute fuzzy bunnies found at the pet store. They are well adapted to the wild, strong runners and clever survivors. They are definitely untamable. In the summer months, arctic hares are usually brown and grey, and they shed their fur when the temperature warms up. But in the winter, the arctic hare's fur turns snowy white to match the winter landscape. Only the tips of their ears stay dark. This is to cheat their predators. Arctic hares are the largest hares. A full-grown arctic hare is usually around 2 feet long and weighs about 12 pounds. It has long muscular hind legs and feet that allow it to move quickly over snow and ice, up to 40 miles an hour. Arctic hares don't take short hops like bunnies. They use their powerful hind legs to propel themselves, like kangaroos. As the largest of the hares, arctic hares need special adaptations and behavior to survive in cold arctic winters. Their ears are much shorter than those of desert hares. Shorter ears means the hares can warm themselves more efficiently. Their hearts don't have to pump blood so far from the center of their bodies. But this doesn't mean that arctic hares can't hear well. They have very keen senses of hearing, smell and sight. They can smell their food even through thick snow and ice. Their dark eyes sit near the top of their heads, giving them a wide range of sight. When arctic hares spy predators, they use their white camouflage as their first defense. They freeze and wait until they are spotted before trying to run to safety. Even though hares are super fast, many predators can still hunt and kill them. Their most common enemy is the wolf. But arctic hares also have to protect themselves from polar bears, arctic foxes, ermines, and large birds like falcons or eagles. Arctic hares struggle to find food during the winter. But the sharp nails on their feet help them scratch and dig through ice and snow. In Alaska, arctic hares prefer to eat the leaves, bark, twigs, and roots of the willow tree. They also eat small grasses and flowers. Male hares called bucks mate with a female hare or doe during the spring. After she mates, a doe carries a litter for about 50 days before she gives birth. She may have up to 9 leverets or young arctic hares at once. The leverets are ready for life in Alaska almost as soon as they are born. They can see clearly and burrow their own forms when they are only a few days old. So today, we learned that these arctic hares are kind of cute but certainly untamable. So to learn more about wildlife creatures, hit subscribe.